Praise the Lord, everybody. If you stand with me, welcome to our Thanksgiving service today. Amen. What a time to say thanks to the God that brings us the blessings, the God that brings us health, the God that brings us all the provisions we need to live the life that we are living. What a God. What a wonderful Savior He is. And I think it's so tremendous, amen, for us to take time in our life to th say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you love us. Thank you, Lord, for you care for us. Thank you, Lord, that you're watching us every day that we live. Amen. And so today we just want to take time in this service and throughout this service just to say thank you to the Lord that saved us, that's kept us. And so at the beginning of this, would you just open your heart right now and just begin to thank him in your own way right now. All the wonderful things that he's done. Amen. Lord, we love you. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness. We thank you, Lord, for your tender mercy. We thank you for your loving kindness today, Lord God, for reaching into our world and reaching into our life, God, and, and directing us and guiding us and keeping us, God, Lord, safe and sound. God, we give you the praise and we give you the glory today. And we just ask that you receive our worship and our praise and we offer it up to you in song and in word today, God. Lord, we magnify you today and are thankful for your presence. Thank you for your tender mercy again. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen, 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 amen. Would you just lift up your voice in song today as we see, sing songs of praise to him today. Well, ain't God good for giving us so many blessings undeserving? That's what we are. We ought to thank Him, love and praise Him. A little more today and a whole lot more tomorrow. Well, ain't God good for giving us so many blessings undeserving? Hey. 
during this season, it's so good to think about all that God has done. Even when we're walking through the hard times, we can look back on all the wonderful things and all the good things that he has kept us through. And one of the blessings that I have in my life is my dad, who's not here right now, but you guys all know he loves to play the drums and he loves to worship through the drums. And this song kind of puts it in perspective for me because I know my dad shouldn't even be here. He should not be here at all right now. But this song talks about the goodness of God and what he has done in our lives through everything. So we're going to sing it today, and I want you to think about what he's done for you through your life. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me. Oh. Been held in your hands from the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, I will sing of the good.
Praise our God right now. We can just continue to lift him up because he is worthy. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for your goodness, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That, Lord, your goodness will follow me. Your mercy will follow me, Lord, all the days of our lives. Hallelujah, Jesus. We worship you, God. We magnify you today. We thank you, Lord, for your love for us. We magnify you, Lord. Oh, we praise you. We give you, Lord, all the praise and all the glory today. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we thank you, Lord, today. We thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your grace. We thank you, Lord, for what you've done for us. We praise you today. You are so wonderful to us, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, how wonderful is our God today. How sweet is our God today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He's beautiful for any situation. His mercy is, is endured every morning. He's new every morning. I'm so thankful for that. Amen. Hallelujah. We have a couple of prayer requests that we have. Uh, Dave is not feeling well. You know, Brother Carney, he's not feeling well. We need to pray for him. John's not feeling well. We're going to pray for him. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to pray for revival to come to Salem, Oregon. Amen. Praying for it to come down and it will spread like a wildfire. I think we have too many real wild, wildfires throughout this state and throughout this northwest. I'm ready for the spirit wildfire to start coming down. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to pray for our church building, that God is going to bless us. He is going to bless, bless us. He's going to bless each and every one of you today. Amen. Amen. I want to pray for, I want to pray for a blessing to go upon all of us as we go out because of this week. We'll be, we're gonna not going to have any service. We're going to go out to your families. I'm going to pray for you guys to be a blessing to your family. To go out, and you're going to be that blessing that your family needs. It's going to be that blessing that you're going to be able to bless all around you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to pray for God's blessing to be upon us this week. Amen. Hallelujah. If you need prayer, you can come to the front. We'll pray for you. Amen. To be touched. Amen. But if you have a prayer request and you were not able to give it to me, take it to God. Just take it to God. God, I need this situation right now. I need it to be touched. I need something to be moved. I need a mountain to be moved. I need a healing. I need a financial blessing today. God, please touch me today. If it's something like that, take it to God. And we are praying right now for you. We are praying for God's will to be done right now. There's prayer service. So let's go to God right now. Jesus, we worship you today. Lord, we magnify you. We thank you, Lord, for your presence that is here right now. We thank you, Jesus, for your spirit, God. That, Lord, it is here moving. It is here 
wanted to reach each and every one of us today. We thank you for it. We magnify you for it, God. I ask you, Lord, right now to touch. Lord, Brother Carney, Lord, Brother John, Lord, the Cameron family, God, that, Lord, right now you would touch them, Jesus. Touch these families, God. That, Lord, you would touch them, Lord, that your healing power, Lord, touch them right now, that they, 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 would, they would be healed in the name of Jesus. We ask you, Lord, that you would bless them, that you would strengthen them right now. We praise you today. We magnify. We thank you, Lord, for your strength. We thank you, Lord, for your spirit, Lord, that is moving. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, we pray right now, Lord, for the spirit of your, for your spirit to fall in Salem, Oregon. Lord, let revival fall here in Oregon, God. Let it fall here. Let it fall here, Lord, in the capital. Lord, let it spread out, Lord, to all the cities, to every soul, Jesus. Oh, Lord, let your spirit, Lord, come down. We ask you, Lord, right now to bless, Lord, each and every family that's here, each and every body that is here, God, as they're going out this week, Lord, to their families, God, that, Lord, you would bless them, that, Lord, you would touch them, that, Lord, you would strengthen them, Lord, that, Lord, you would be with them, Lord, wherever they go, God, and that, Lord, they would do, that we'd be witnesses for you, God, to our families this week, Jesus. Hallelujah. We praise you today. We magnify you, God. We thank you, Lord, for your healing. We thank you, Lord, for your blessings, God. Lord, we give you all the praise and all the glory right now, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We magnify you. We can just praise God right now. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, God. We thank you, Lord, for the victory. We thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, what a great God we serve. Amen. What a great God we serve today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we just give God another hand. God, he is worthy of our praise. He is so worthy. Oh, he is so wonderful. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. Thank you, Lord, that you love us today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You may be seated right now as Brother Chantry comes. Amen, amen. False alarm, everybody. Amen, amen. He'll come in a moment, amen. But we want to kick off today our Christmas for Christ. Amen, it's an offering that we take up every year. It helps with starting churches, and it, and it uh, helps establish new works in cities that need churches. And so this year, our goal is $10,000. We're gonna receive that. A lot of people give to, to uh, charities and that type of thing. And, and so we as a church like to give towards this at Christmas time. And so we're just asking you to let the Lord lead you. Amen, whatever he moves on your heart to give towards that. We want you to, to, to be willing to do that. Because really, where would we, would we be without Jesus Christ in our life? We'd be lost. We'd have lives that, that would be miserable. But because he came into our life, we know peace, we know love, we know joy today. Amen. And so we just, our way of giving back for what the Lord's done for us. And so we're going to ask you to help decorate our Christmas tree. So you can see it's pretty plain. And so... Uh, we need some help, all right? So as you see different ornaments being added to our Christmas tree, you'll know that that's, we're reaching our goal. We're working towards our goal. And so your offering will go into the red box. Red for Christmas, all right? All right, so give towards the, the red box, amen. You know those people that ring the bell, they give to a red pot, amen. We're giving to a red box, all right? Amen. So this helps our established churches. Amen. In, in, in unchurched cities. So that's what this goes toward. All right. Amen. And while Brother Chantry's coming, I'm going to sneak back and turn down the heat, if that's all right with you. Because I am really warm. Amen. But thank God for heat. Because when we got in here today, it wasn't hot. Amen. But thank God that there's a heater that works. Amen. Praise God. I turned it up to 72. I probably shouldn't have. Should have left it about 68. Amen. But to those that are cold-blooded, amen, you're welcome. Amen. But Brother Chantry's coming. Amen.
Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Uh, next Thursday night, uh, spoiler alert, he already, uh, Caleb already spoiled it, but we're not having service because we have a th- little thing called Thanksgiving. So please, uh, you know, eat as, all, as much as you want and uh, I don't know. What else do you do? Eat, sleep, be merry. Or in our family, we sh- they uh, do a bu- they watch a bunch of ads or go through a bunch of newspapers on Black Friday because <laughs> they literally eat, then they sleep a little, and then they go out on Black Friday. It's slightly insane, and uh, I judge them a little bit. Anyway, but next Sunday at two o'clock is two thirty. Amen. Please come to that. And then the next Sunday after that, which is going to be December 4th, is going to be Friends Day. So please invite a friend. Let them come up uh, or let them come in here. And uh, Brother Plemons is going to come. So uh, please invite a friend or 8 or 29 or how many friends you got. Amen. And then uh, then obviously uh, December 25th, which is going to be a Sunday, we will not have service for a little thing called Christmas um, it's very small. Anyway, so you don't have to come to service on the December 25th. Please, you know, open a bunch of presents and eat a lot of food. Again, there's a theme. There's a theme in the holiday season. Anyway, let's stand. Before we spend a bunch of food or a bunch of money on food, you got to give a little money to help the Christmas tree that, uh, makes Charlie Brown's Christmas tree look like a royal Christmas tree. Anyway, let's decorate that Christmas tree. Anyway, if you've got tithes and offerings, please give it a plate. Um, And if you have your offering for Christmas for Christ, please give it in the red room box or whatever you want to call that color. Amen. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, bless the people who can give. Bless them a hundredfold in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's mark. Bless the Lord, oh my soul.
worship the Lord, bless his holy name today. Amen. It's so good to have each and every one of you in the house of God today. It's good to see Bones and Holly today. God bless them. Amen. It's good to see Omar. Amen. Miranda. I think that's Rich. Amen. And Tish. Amen. It's good to see you. It's also good to see Tracy with us today. Thank you for being here today. Amen. Amen. If you have your Bibles and turn with me, we want to turn to the Word of God, to Psalms 100. Amen. Psalms 100. Amen. As we talk about a heart of thanksgiving, a heart of of thanksgiving. Amen. Psalms 100 reads, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. Amen. A heart of thanksgiving. Would you bow your heads and pray as we turn our attention to God's precious word today. Lord, we ask for your blessing upon this time as we bring forth your word, God, that your anointing and blessing be upon our hearts and our minds to receive from your word today and strengthen us, Lord, and give us a heart of thanksgiving in the midst of so much that's going on. Let our heart not become hardened, but let it be soft and tender towards you, God, and be thankful every day that we live. God, we give you the honor and the glory today. We magnify by your name today, in Jesus' name. Can you say amen? amen? Amen. You may be seated. Amen. As we look into a heart of thanksgiving. What I have prepared here, the information I'm going to give today, comes from the website called wallbuilders.com. So if you want to write that down and check it out, amen, you're more than, uh, more than uh, free to do that, wallbuilders.com. One word, wallbuilders.com. The tradition of Thanksgiving as a time of focus on God and his blessings date, dates back almost four centuries here in America. While such celebrations occurred at Cape Henry, Virginia as early as 1607, it is from the pilgrims that we derive the current tradition of Thanksgiving. Following their first winter in America, the pilgrims reaped a bountiful harvest the next summer. As one of them wrote, God be praised. We had a good increase of corn. By the goodness of God, we are far from want. Consequently, they declared a three-day feast. I'm trying to help my son out. That's why the food's there. A three-day feast in December of 1621 to thank God. America's first Thanksgiving festival. This began an annual tradition in the New England colonies that slowly spread to all other colonies. The first national Thanksgiving occurred under President George Washington in 1789. And in a few moments, I will read that proclamation. It was President Franklin D. Roosevelt who began celebrating Thanksgiving on the fourth Thursday of November, a practice established by federal law in 1941. So as we celebrate Thanksgiving this year, we must and ought to remember to retain the original gratefulness to God that has always been the spirit of this, the oldest of all American holidays, Thanksgiving. So I read to you from the text of George Washington, October 3rd, 1789, National Thanksgiving Proclamation, as printed in the Providence Gazette and the County Journal on October 17th, 1789, by the President of the United States of America, a proclamation. Whereas 
It is the duty of all nations to acknowledge the providence of Almighty God, to obey His will, to be grateful for His benefits, and humbly to implore His protection and favor. And whereas both houses of Congress have, by their joint committee, requested me to recommend to the people of the United States a day of public thanksgiving and prayer to be observed by acknowledging with grateful hearts the many and signal favors of Almighty God, especially by affording them an opportunity is peaceably to establish a form of government for their safety and happiness now. Therefore, I do recommend and assign Thursday, the 26th day of November next, to be devoted by the people of these states to the service of that great and glorious being who is the beneficial author of all the good that was, that is, or that will be, that we may then all unite in rendering unto him our sincere and humble thanks to his kind care and protection of the people of this country previous to their being a nation for the signal and manifold mercies and favorable interpositions of, our pro of, our, of his province in the course and conclusion of the late war for the great degree of tranquility, union, and plenty which we have since enjoyed, for the peaceable and rational manner in which we have been enabled to establish constitutions of government for our safety and our happiness, and particularly the, na the national one now lately instituted for the civil and religious liberty which, with which we are blessed, and the means which we have acquiring and diffusing useful knowledge, and in general for all the great and various favors which he has, which he has been pleased to confer upon us, and also that we may then unite in the most humbly offering our prayers and supplications to the great Lord and ruler of all nations and beseech him to pardon our national and other transgressions to enable us all, whether in public or private stations, to perform our se several and relative duties properly and punctually, to render our national government a blessing to all the people by constantly being a government of uh, a government of wise, just, and cons constitutional laws, discreetly and faithfully executing, executed and obeyed, to protect and to guide all sovereigns and nations, especially to those as shown kindness to us, and to bless them with good governments, peace, and concord, to promote the knowledge of practice of true religion and virtue and the increase of science among them and us, and generally to grant unto all mankind such a degree of temporal prosperity as he alone knows to be best. Given under the hand at the city of New York the third day of October in the year of our Lord, 1789, signed G. Washington. I also in my notes have a copy, uh, a, a picture of that address, that proclamation. It's amazing to me. We've got a great nation, a blessed nation, that recognize the reason that we are blessed because of the sovereign God that has established this nation, one nation under God. Amen. And in God do we trust. My question, though, is where did... These men, George Washington and others, have such a thought and a desire to show thanksgiving to the God that had blessed them. You know, the, you know where it comes from? The Bible itself. In fact, it speaks of a time in Jewish history we find under the rule of King David, the second king of Israel, who had a deep love and appreciation for the God of Israel, the Lord God, Jehovah. God had kept him as he watched his father's sheep when the lion and the bear had gone, had come to, to devour. God had given him a great victory over the giant we know as Goliath. 
So when David became king of Israel, he desired to bring back the Ark of the Covenant. That was the piece of furniture that symbolized God's presence. So we find in 1 Chronicles 16, the Ark of Covenant, God's presence, was finally coming back home to the city of Jerusalem. And this is the way that King David responded. It reads in 1 Chronicles 16, 1. So they brought the ark of God and set it in the midst of the tent that David had pitched for it. And they offered a burnt sacrifice and peace offerings before God. And when David had made an end of offering the burnt offerings and the peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord. And he dealt to every one of Israel, both man and woman, to every one a loaf of bread and a good piece of flesh and a flagon of wine. Where did we get this idea to eat and rejoice? There you go. David did it himself. Amen. A a loaf of bread, a piece of flesh, and a flagon of wine. And he appointed certain of the Levites to minister before the ark of the Lord and to record and to thank and praise the Lord God of Israel. And on that same day, he presented this. Here's proclamation but he called it his first, he called it his psalm, but a proclamation. And it reads this way. Again, 1 Corinthians, Chronicles, excuse me, 16, verse 8. It reads, give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Sing unto him. Sing psalms unto him. Talk ye of all his wondrous works. Glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face continually. Remember his marvelous works that he hath done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O ye seed of Israel, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen ones, he is the Lord our God. His judgments are, are in all the earth. Be ye mindful always of his covenant the word which he commanded to a thousand generations, even of the covenant which he made with Abraham and of his oath with Isaac and hath confirmed the same to Jacob for law and to Israel for an everlasting covenant, saying unto thee will I give the land of Canaan the lot of your inheritance when you were but few, even a few, and strangers in it. And when they went from nation to nation, And from one kingdom to another people, he suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sake, saying, Touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Show forth from day to day his salvation. Declare his glory among the heathen, his marvelous works among all nations. For great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. Can you say amen? He also is to be feared above all gods, for all gods of the people are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. Glory and honor are in his presence. Strength and gladness are in his place. Give unto the Lord, ye kindreds of people. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. The word also, the world, excuse me, also shall be stable that it be not moved, that the heavens be glad. And let the earth rejoice, and let men say among the nations, The Lord reigneth. Let the sea roar, and the fullness thereof. Let the fields rejoice, and all that, there, that is therein. Then shall the trees of the wood sing out at the presence of the Lord, because he cometh to judge the earth. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. I say ye, save us, O God of our salvation, and gather us together, and deliver us from the heathen, that we may give thanks to thy holy name, and glory to thy praise. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel forever and ever. And all the people said, Amen, and praise the Lord. See, we think that Thanksgiving was just an American tradition, but really, it goes back beyond there. Amen, amen. There is a, a, a heart, amen, that you can possess today, a heart of thanksgiving, a heart 
rather than saying and recognizing all the bad and the ugly and, and, uh, and all that. Uh, no, we're going to push that aside and recognize that God is still God, that God is still faithful, and that God does still do glorious and wonderful things. What a time of thanksgiving that all Israel enjoyed that day. Though we will not today go into it, there was also another time of thanksgiving offered up by the people of God. It was in Nehemiah's day. For you see, Israel had be, Judah had been taken into captivity under Babylon. But there came a day, as prophesied by the prophet Jeremiah, after 70 years, God's going to restore you. God's going to bring you back. And finally, in Nehemiah's day, they had come back. The house of the Lord was restored. The walls of Jerusalem were, were rebuilt. And there, he, 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 he commanded them to have a day, a time of celebration, of thanksgiving to the one true God that has provided so much and protected them and came through for them in their time and their need. Amen. So Thanksgiving is not just a new idea. Amen. But I'm going to tell you this. If we do Thanksgiving without God, then it is missing something. I am so glad today that we can know the God of heaven, that we can know the God that cares, that we can know the God that provides, we can know the God, amen, that we can walk with him today, that we can minister, that he can minister to us, and we can come into a place such as this, amen, and worship him in spirit and in truth, amen, praise God, lifting up our voice in song, lifting up our voice in worship, because he's been faithful and he's been good, amen, he's been merciful and he's been kind, amen, and I I'm today, amen, as your pastor asking you this week, amen, to spend some time in thanksgiving to God, amen, spend some time in recognizing that he is God, and beside him there is none other, amen, and he's the one that's worthy of praise and worship. To take thanksgiving to the heart, as I've already read today, but I want to read again, amen, and that is Psalms 100, uh, encouraging us, amen, Amen. To praise him and to magnify him and to thank him. Amen. Psalms 100 reads, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all your lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know he, ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that made us and not we ourselves. Oh, there's a big argument going on right now about that one. Amen. How we came to be. I've, I've got the answer. God made us. God made you the way you are. Amen. God, amen, designed you the way you are. Amen. Praise God. He hath made us. We are, amen, the sheep. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Therefore, amen, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him. And bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is. Aren't you thankful for that today? If you've messed up this week, I've got news for you. His mercy is everlasting. His forgiveness is just as real today as it was the first time you came into his presence. He loves you. Amen. He cares about you. Amen. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endureth. To all generations. Paul writes the, to the church in Philippi, in Philippians 4, he writes it this way about having a heart of thanksgiving. He says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say, Rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Can I stop there for a moment? Be careful for nothing. It ain't time to worry. It's time to pray. It ain't time to get uh, uh, confused. It's time to turn to the God, amen, that brings peace, that brings direction, that brings counsel, amen. Be careful for nothing, but in everything. Why does it say everything? Because you know what? If you haven't learned this yet, 
Not every day that you have is going to be awesome. Some days are not quite, quite awesome. Some days are pretty hard. But in everything, I'm going to recognize that God's still in control. Probably the one that had, you know, many in scripture had it difficult. But the one that really sticks in our mind about difficult is Job. Not Job, but Job. <laughs> Why that is, I don't know. Talk to an English major, I'm not. But well, how can you say, spelled the same way, but pronounced differently, I don't know. But Job had it tough. Lost his family one day. That same day, he lost everything he owned. All in one day. That's not bad enough. It was a few days later, he even lost his health. It's boils from head to toe. I've had a few boils. Thank the Lord, and only a few. Amen. Praise God. Painful. But in the midst of all that, what did he do? He still praised God. Still offered up a word of thanksgiving to God. In everything, give thanks. In everything, give thanks. Amen. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And if you'll do that, listen to this. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. If I will make that sacrifice of prayer and thanksgiving and worship to God, then God is going to bless me. God is going to keep me. He's going to keep my heart. He's going to keep my mind, praise God. Amen. He's going to keep me in that hour. Amen. I tell you, I want a heart of thanksgiving. What about you? I want to make sure I have a heart of thanksgiving toward Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. As we in this year of 2022, I think we need to take a moment and look about us. Yes, I know. Not everything is gone like you would like it to. Yet, I still believe that God is good, that God is in control, and God knows what he's doing. So let us, through a heart of thanksgiving to the God of heaven, who by his wonderful grace and mercy has seen us through another year, make our proclamation of thanksgiving known. Perhaps we can join with a future event Found in the book of Revelations. It mentions a certain host. It reads in Revelation 7 9. And after this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and psalms in their hands. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. And all the angels stood around about the throne and about the elders and the four beasts and fell down and fell before the throne on their faces and worshiped God, saying, Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. Blessing and glory, and wisdom, and thanksgiving, and honor, and power, and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. It's time to make our proclamation. It's time, amen, to make up our heart that we are going to be thankful to God. Amen. Despite what tomorrow holds, despite what next week holds, despite what next year holds, I'm going to keep a heart of thanksgiving towards God because he is good and God knows what he's doing. And like George Washington said, he knows best. He knows best. He knows what I need. Amen. And he knows best. So would you stand with me on this Sunday before, amen, our Thanksgiving on Thursday. Amen. I want, amen, to, to, to just end this service, amen, with a time of thanksgiving to God. I want you, amen, to do it in your own way because all of us have different things that God has done. But I want you to think back through 2022, this year. And I want God to begin to kind of play, 
Amen. Uh, through our mind, some things that God has done. And as God does that, I want you to begin to say thank you for this. Thank you for that. Your own personal way. I'm not going to tell you what to say thank you for because you're an individual and God has worked in your life in a special way. But would you do that right now in your own way? Begin to thank him for the good things. Begin to thank him for the trials that he's brought you through. Begin to thank him for the test, amen, that he has walked with you through it, amen. Thank him, amen, for the, when things were hard and things were difficult, you felt an assurance, amen, that God was still there, that God still cared, that God was still there to lead and to guide and to help and, amen, to provide, amen. This is your day. Make this day your proclamation proclamation. Make this day your declaration. Make this day amen, a time of thanksgiving. Oh, offer it up, my friend. Offer it up to the King of Kings. Offer it up to the Lord of Lords. Oh, would you magnify Him? Oh, would you exalt Him? Oh, would you praise Him? Amen. Praise God. Lift up your voice. Shout unto God. Amen. Hallelujah. Because He's worthy. He's worthy of all praise. He's worthy of all glory. He's worthy of all honor. Oh, what a wonderful Savior He is. Oh, what a wonderful God He is. Is, uh, that's provided, that's protected, that's directed, that's guided our lives uh, to this day. Uh, oh, he's worthy today. He's worthy today. He's a good God. He's a wonderful God. He is a wonderful Savior. Uh, oh, I praise your name today, Jesus. Uh, I glorify your name. I thank you for your goodness. Uh, I thank you for the times, uh, Lord, when I was weary and well-doing, that you came and began to build me up and, and you began to lift me up. I thank you, Lord, for the times, God, Lord, that I went through the loss of my brother. God, that you were there to be my comfort and to be my guide. I thank you today at the times that I've been sick. Lord, that you were there, God, to bring healing to my body. And I give you praise today. And I give you thanks today. You are good. You are wonderful. You are truly beautiful for every situation. You are the joy of my life. And I give you praise. And I give you glory today. And I magnify your name today because you are a good God. Oh, that's it. Go ahead. Amen. It's a, if it's appropriate, reach over and pray with that one next to you. Encourage that one next to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Just encourage them. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Share the love of God. Amen. With them right now. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, that's it. That's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. Thanks, Lord. You're faithful and good, God. You are faithful and good, God. You are faithful and good, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, you're worthy today. 